Welcome to the objective review of the latest video game, Spider-Man, for the PS4. Now, in objective review, I usually review movies, but in this case, I'm going to review a video game. And for video games, I like to break video games down into three categories, which are story, gameplay, and presentation. Uh, and I assign weight to them depending on the genre of the video game. So, as this is an action-adventure game, start with a story. Uh, for story, I give it a 40% weight. And the story follows Peter Parker as Spider-Man as he's just defeated Kingpin for the final time, finally locked him up. And you think, great, things, things couldn't be going better. But with Kingpin's control uh, over New York gone, now that opens the door for a lot more terror. And this new villain comes along. I don't know if he necessarily has a name, but I would call him Mr. Negative, not to avoid spoilers. Uh, but Mr. Negative is, he's not like Kingpin at all. He's just causing all this havoc all across the city and terror. And the thing I do really enjoy about this game is that you really do, the thing I really enjoy about stories is you really do get inside Peter Parker. Um, this is one of my favorite stories of Peter Parker, and I love the Spy most of the Spider-Man franchises. I even like The Amazing Spider-Man too. It has many faults, but there's a lot of stuff I like about it. Anyway, not here to review that. Um, but like I said, you really get into Peter's head and really get a sense of who he is. And I really love the adult Peter. I know a lot of us have started to fall in love with Tom Holland being the younger Spider-Man, but I actually gravitate more towards this older Peter who has way more responsibilities um, and just he actually has more life to live. Um, and in this in this quest, he has his partners. He has Mary Jane Watson, who in this case is no longer a model or actress or whatever she normally is. Instead, she is uh, she is a reporter. So she's very much like Lois Lane. And she gets into trouble all the time. And that's kind of annoying. But hey, what are you going to do? She's a damsel in distress. Um, and in this game, it kind of picks up with their relationship that there is no relationship. I mean, can there ever really be a relationship, really? Because she's just a side chick, honestly. Superheroes always married to the mission. Uh, but he's also assisted by Miles Morales, and I really love those two characters um, joining Peter Parker in, in this mission. Really felt like he had a team of people around him. Um, also, the supporting characters is um, Aunt May, again, and she has a really terrific moment. One of my favorite moments in anything Spider-Man in this video game. Now, on to how the story progresses in the actual game itself. After you defeat Wilson Fisk, and that is a great, um, great opening, you then get introduced to the new terror, which is Mr. Negative, but that is so boring. The Mr. Negative aspect of the story is really, really boring. And it lasts what it feels like half the game. Um, and it's kind of just felt like I was going through the motions, honestly, when it, when it came to that point. I was just like, all right, I need to get from point A to point B for some reason. While I'm going there, maybe I'll stop this crime. Like, it start, the video game started to feel like those video games made for uh, movies to support the movie release. Like, when I played Spider-Man 1 or something, I actually remember that. But... That's what is really boring. Now the story does turn at a certain aspect when that character is no longer the main villain, and that's when the story really starts to pick up, and I really start to enjoy it then. But really, I feel like there weren't one of the negatives is there weren't really any other huge boss fights to get over. There wasn't really that many important um, villains that I thought were, were there. Really, there I feel like there was only one. One major important villain that I thought was really carrying the load of the story. Everyone else, they sprinkled in a lot of people. So this is a case of quantity over quality. And I think the game kind of suffered for that. Uh, and also other aspect of the story that I didn't like is that it, it did tie you down with the Mary Jane stuff a lot. Because uh, you do actually play as Mary Jane, but that really just slows down the pace of the story, I think. Um, but like I said before, the story of this game is one of my, towards the end of it, is one of the, my favorite Spider-Man stories. Um, cause he just, you know, this character has, he gives up things. There's sacrifices to his mission. And I just really enjoy that aspect of the movie. Uh, <laughs> it's that good of, of the movie. 
Um, but besides the main story, you do have some side missions, which I think none of them are really all that noteworthy. Um, yeah, they're just, I could do without them or I could do them. I did them really just with sole intent of getting more of the of the in-game currency to increase Spider-Man to either find a new skill or to, or to just gain some strength or maybe get a new suit. I didn't do them really for the sake of just doing them and that's really unfortunate. Um, but like I said, the story I think really starts to pick up towards at the end um, with the new revelations. So for story, I give it an eight and a half out of 10. On to gameplay. There's no secret at all that Spider-Man for PS4 is almost a carbon copy of the Arkham series, which hey, everyone copy a superhero video game series, you should copy the best series of video games for superheroes of all time. But sometimes I feel like it really falls short of the Arkham games. And maybe I'm just a little, admittedly a little biased in that because I have played each of those games at least twice each. So I'm just really used to the mechanics of it. Um, although they copied some things that I think worked more for Batman than it did for Spider-Man. For instance, the, like the, when you're trying to pick off criminals one by one, to me, that's not Spider-Man's MO. So it didn't feel genuine. It, I just felt like it was, it was just something to do to, to pass some time. Um, but some of the shortcomings I think comes when, especially in Arkham games, if you're in fighting a group of people, you have these quick little short actions that you can do. If I'm Batman and these video games, I just hit RR to freeze them. If I want to electrocute them, I just hit LL or something like that. If I throw a batarang, I hit R. Uh, when it comes to Spider-Man, you don't have that easy shift in, in, these, uh, in your arsenal. You have to kind of stop for a minute, kind of freeze time, and then switch to that. If you want to do like your electric web or freeze, or, you know, freeze and switch it to, to, uh, to some other type of webbing. So I wish they had really copied the Arkham series in that in that sense. But uh, to give the gameplay a lot of credit, I think you do really get a sense of Spider-Man. I mean, swinging through New York and all the freedom you have, I think it does the game a lot of service. Um, I feel like you can kind of customize the way you you know you fight or the way you swing. I mean, I often would just swing people up to me and then fight them in midair and then do some dodging. Um, just kind of build up my combo, which is really easy to build up your combo in this game, which is a little bit unfortunate and also fortunate at the same time, but hey. Um, but the gameplay was good. Sometimes I felt like it was a little glitchy, and sometimes when you do special moves, I feel like it kind of takes you out of the game too much, um, especially when I'm compared against the Arkham series. When I do a special move, I can still turn Batman so I can turn my focus onto the next bad guy I want to go beat up. When it comes to Spider-Man, I kind of just get caught in this quick in-game little mini movie. Um, so that was a little bit disappointing. Um, and then also part of the gameplay is that you do play as uh, Mary Jane sometimes and that just really slowed down the story. Because um, mostly you're just sneaking by. You, mean, you don't get a stun gun until, until like the fourth thing you do with her. I mean, she was literally like the Batmobile in Arkham Knight but not exciting. Like there's way too much of playing as her and playing as Miles Morales, but not really doing anything. They just really slowed the game down. Uh, so for that, for gameplay, I'm gonna give it uh, an eight out of 10. And if I didn't mention before, gameplay is 40%. Next is on to presentation. I assigned 20% weight to presentation. And presentation, I just mean kind of everything. The, the acting, the visuals, the graphics, um, the world, everything. And this game does not disappoint. The graphics look great. I have the first generation PS4, and so they still look great. I'm not about to upgrade to 4K. I don't got that type of money, um, but still look great. The, like I said, just swinging through New York looked amazing. This game looks especially good during the daytime. Um, I think in the nighttime, it's just like the lighting isn't great. Um, and so daytime really does it well. And New York, like I said, looked great. And the Spider-Man costume looks great. Everything looks great. I think the voice acting was done really well, really matches the characters um, that they have. And that goes down the line for absolutely everyone. Um, I do think when it comes to presentation, this game was a little glitchy at times. Like sometimes when Spider-Man gets punched or gets knocked out, like just the way he gets 
it just looks like uh, he was knocked out in an N64 game. One aspect I absolutely loved about the presentation of this video game was that, like I said, you do feel like Peter Parker, Spider-Man, the witty banter is really great. Um, you really feel like you are him. And, and one of the things I absolutely love is just some of the scenes in it, especially some of the more huge action scenes. Like there's a scene where he stops a helicopter from landing in some streets and you f feel like it's just straight out of a movie, but you are in the movie. And that was just, just done very excellent. Um, but presentation was great. Um, yeah, loved it. And that gets a nine out of 10. So that brings us to a weighted average score of 8.4 out of 10. Um, I'm really excited for the next game, I think. I think there's a lot of room for it. I don't think they covered all that many villains. Uh, so yeah, whatever, I'm out.